Hi there. Um, we thought we would uh, just do a quick video to explain the idea of decanting a vintage port because it's it's something that some people um, might not have tried before um, and it's not exactly difficult. So I've got a bottle of Taylor's, a uh, good, good porthouse there. They're, they're 1985, so a nice mature wine. I think we're going to enjoy that. Um, what I've done is this has been standing up um, overnight because uh, the thing about port is that the extraction that goes on in the production process will will have left a big heavy sediment in there so it's a question of trying to get the clean wine off that sediment yes it's going to add some oxygen to the wine and that may help the flavors to show but the main thing is to get a clean wine out of it so standing it up over time some people will lay it down in a, uh, a port basket um, so that it's on its side and it'll collect at the back and the bottom but here this will the um, sediment should all have collected at the bottom of this wine. So what I'm just going to do is open this. We'll start by taking the uh, foil off and with it comes the seal. Now in some cases with an old vintage board, especially if they've been seepage, you might want to wipe it but this is actually quite clean up at the top here so there's nothing uh, in the way of mould or anything like that to take off there. Um, so with a corkscrew inserting the screw into the middle of the cork and you need to be careful because this is actually quite an old cork and the shape of these bottles means that they uh, the cork will splay quite a little in there so then just very very gently giving so this is breaking the cork here so we get them down a bit further that is not going to work very well you might want to just stop the recording of that so we're resuming this this video having um use the corkscrew. Unfortunately the cork, if you want to just come in and have a look, um, has started to break up as I put the screw in there. So we've we've um, got ourselves one of these two-prong extractors here. Um, I've heard them referred to as bad butler's friends. The idea is that if your butler's opened too many bottles of wine, if he uses one of these, because we all have butlers obviously, um, he can reinsert the corks that he's over Use. So what I've got is I've got the two prongs and I've worked them down gently either side of the cork and you need to be careful because you can break a little tiny bit of glass off there if, you, if you're too heavy. And so that's that's gone down the side of the cork and now what I'm going to do is it turns it and that just breaks the pressure there and the, ooh, dear that's not going well. Let's see if I can do one more insertion of the prong. Oops. On this occasion we will right okay stop there I think okay so we've tried a second time and uh, using the two pronged extractor we've got half the cork out so I'm now going to try another trick see if we can get the other half of the cork out you might wonder what this is it's a it's a cable tie because what I'm going to do is just pop that down in there and I slightly careful because this can be a little bit messy if it goes wrong. Just Is the rest of the cork. I think this is probably quite a good um, good demonstration of why actually port tongs are quite a good way of opening a bottle of port. Um, so what we'll do now, I suspect we may find there's a little more cork inside the port, it can be filtered out later, but just to clean round the inside of the bottle to remove any debris that might be there. So again, we're trying to get a nice clean wine, um, and I've got a light source here, a candle. So the idea is that I can decant the wine slowly and gently, so that I'm not shaking it up to get um, sediment anywhere. And as the wine comes through, 
we will be able to see the sediments starting to rise against the point of light that the candle provides in the background. You can see there's uh, bits of cork in the decanter, unfortunately, which is annoying. very slowly and that's why the port bottle has these heavy shoulders is just to catch the sediment as you pour and you're pouring slowly to make sure it's not glugging which again will disturb the sediments in the wine um, right, stop there if we just pour we'll find a bit of cork in here I think as well but you can see the glass you have a look you can see all the sediment caught in there that you've been trying to avoid going into the decanter now all we have to do is probably put the decanter through a filter and get the cork out okay you can only wish you better luck when you try decanting with the cork of the bottle bye now